vaccine uptake within the local Aboriginal community was quite low and the Ministry identified that this was an area that needed targeting. We came up with the fact that we could run vaccination clinics and then it was all lots of meetings in relation to how we were going to achieve that, whether or not we were going to support Aboriginal clients coming through the Gosford Clinic or whether we were going to run clinics here at Nanyara. And in the end, it was thought best that we did that. We've always run immunisation clinics here at Nanyara because it's an opportunity for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people from the Central Coast to come to a culturally safe space in order to get the information and support they need to undergo vaccinations. However, we did face some barriers in relation to the numbers of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people on the Central Coast getting their COVID vaccinations. Some of those barriers included misinformation, um, vaccine hesitancy, and we were hoping to mitigate some of those and increase our uptake of vaccinations by running these clinics here and providing that support that we've always done for our community. We did face some barriers in accessing those vaccines. Because only New South Wales Health Services were able to access the vaccines through the vaccine centre, we faced some issues in relation to how we were going to get that. We managed to team up with the Gosford Vaccination Clinic who were absolutely invaluable in relation to storing those vaccines, drawing them up and, and providing um, either drawn up ready vaccines or vials of them. In order to attempt to overcome some of the vaccine hesitancy within our community, we created a number of different strategies, some of which included creating a handout or a flyer with information that was not only correct, but culturally appropriate for our community to understand. Through the, the, the pandemic, we provided over two and a half thousand vaccinations for COVID. Uh, and for us, it's important for us to do that because it, it, it gives our community somewhere safe to come and, and, and get vaccinations from. Yeah, and also provided vaccination. So there was two, uh, I suppose, Aboriginal specific vaccination points. Um, yeah, providing a vaccination point for the community for us was really important. So people didn't have to travel. So there was one, Yeram provided up north of the coast, we provided down south. Um, but it gave our community access to an Aboriginal service providing vaccinations. So it was a lot safer. It was um, an opportunity for them to I suppose come to a culturally suitable area to get their to get their um, vaccination with them and their families. With the help of the local health district, New South Wales Health, Aboriginal Ministry of Health, Bungbury Aboriginal Association, Yeran Aboriginal Medical Service, we we're able to ensure that a huge percentage of our community was vaccinated against COVID. Going forward, some of the things that might mitigate this issue in the future should we come into another pandemic would be increased staffing, um, not only within Aboriginal health, but also Aboriginal nurses and Aboriginal vaccinators would be vital in order to ensure that our vaccination clinics were able to run more consecutively and for longer periods of time outside of work hours to ensure that our community that does work is able to get here and get those vaccinations. So they aren't able to use that as an excuse not to get vaccinated. Also, the fact that we're able to run these clinics is a huge advantage for our Aboriginal community to meet the needs and the vaccination needs of the community. I think that together we would be able to provide a much better service, much more holistic service and a much more targeted service if we had the staffing levels to meet that need.